Today we are going to see how your plant's flow rate affects the differential pressure. Hi, I am Karthik Maharana. I have 10 years of experience in handling fume treatment plants, de-dusting units and filter bags and I currently operate my own consulting firm. Do you need to increase the flow rate across your filter bags? This generally happens when you increase the overall production or is there is a reason for increase in the production of fume and the dust. The reverse can also be true. Do you need to reduce the flow rate across the filter bags? This may happen when you are operating your plant at a diminished capacity or an under capacity or you have already increased the flow rate and now you want to rectify it. Any changes in the flow rate across the filter bags are going to cause many changes in the plant parameters. This is very important for your operators to know which parameters are going to get affected and how. When the flow rate increases, the DP increases and when the flow rate across your filter bag decreases, the DP decreases. Let us understand why this happens. For understanding purposes, we must consider that only flow rate is gonna change. We are not going to change the dust load in your filter bags. At the constant dust load, the area available for the air or the gases to pass through the surface of the filter bags remains constant. When we increase the flow rate across the filter bags, more gas passes through the same surface area in the same amount of time, hence more energy is required. So DP increases and when we reduce the flow rate, less quantity of gas passes through the same surface area, hence less energy is required. So we get a lower DP. There is a simple way of understanding and remembering this logic. The Ohm's law V equals to IR which says voltage is equal to current into resistance. Using the same analogy, we can understand as voltage is equal to the pressure drop across the filter bags which is DP. The current is the flow rate across the filter bags. So using this logic, when the flow rate increases, DP increases and when the flow rate decreases, the DP decreases. In my last video, I had asked a question that should we change the pulsing interval to adjust DP at all times. Here we must take care that when DP is changed due to the airflow or the change in the airflow, we must not change the pulsing interval to bring back the DP at the original levels. When flow rate changes, it is going to change the DP and that is normal. Yes, some corrections have to be made, but they are going to be made on the basis of all the changes in your baghouse. If you want to learn more about how to optimize your plant, hit that subscribe button and press that notification bell. Share this video with your colleagues, seniors and your operators so that they get the knowledge and your plant gets optimized. If you have any questions from me, you can ask me in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. I have also made a video in Hindi on the same topic for all those who may require. If you are facing major difficulties in your plant operation or you are going for design change and you wish to employ my services, you can contact me on 9178-457-983. Thanks for watching. I hope this is gonna help you in your plant operations. I'll be back with another video on another topic. Till then, stay tuned.